I hope I could actually open it. Hello and welcome to 15 Questions presented by DMR Bikes. I'm Sam Marzetti. Let's get into it. What is your off-road mountain bike mountain cycling origin story? Jesus, that's a f***ing mouthful, isn't it? Well, basically, I uh, started when I was about 12, I think. Maybe a bit before that, actually, I think. And Well, I was playing football at the time as well. Basically, got into bikes because my dad's been doing it for years as well. And he uh, took me along with him a few times and then got hooked and started doing races as soon as I could. First race I did, managed to win. So that got me even more excited for it. And then uh, just went from there, really. Are you excited to be riding for DMR in 23? Yes, I am. Sick. Loved the brand. Loved them for years. Had a set of DMR V8 on my first bike, so stoked to be riding for them now. Do you remember what the first ever DMR product was? Did that come out in 95 then? Because I see this has got 95 on it. Some pedals? Or bars, I was thinking. Oh, really? Interesting. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? It's a yes from me, definitely. Can't be a good Hawaiian. Love it. What is your preferred mountain biking location? Somewhere nice and hot with big hills and ski lifts. Not around here. <laughs> what is your favorite DMR product? Ooh. I like the silver stem. I like the classic silver Defy stem. I think it looks quality. As soon as I put that on my bike, I was like, that is cool. Sets it off nice, especially in chrome. If you were to make a sandwich using two slices of bread, if you cut it in half, do you now have two halves of a sandwich or two smaller sandwiches? <laughs> um, it's still just one sandwich, really, isn't it? You can't make one sandwich, cut it into two, and then say it's two, can you? Yeah, but they're just two smaller ones. Yeah, but it's still just one sandwich, isn't it? If you had one human and you cut it in half, you wouldn't have two humans, would you? <laughs> yeah, fair. But it's still one sandwich, isn't it? What is your favourite mountain cycling related injury that you've sustained during your time of biking um it's got to be i dislocated my finger pretty good like literally got it diagonally across i've got some good photos of that yeah. if you want to see literally like across sideways like that basically fell off put my hand under a tree root got up looked at my hand and it was my finger was just sideways like that luckily my dad was stood at the side of the track as well and he's like got a photo of me stood there with my finger just sideways like that my middle finger is still swollen now and still twisted. <laughs> this hand's just buckled. <laughs> Which produced a greater level of pain, breaking your thumb or taste testing a low hanging tree <laughs> at trail shredding speed? Definitely hitting that tree. That was pretty good, yeah. That went pretty viral, that one, that, for a good reason. That was a good old crash, that one. So unexpected as well, literally coming down a trail. Didn't even look up. My mate was, he was like, oh, I'll get a little video of you. I was like, yeah, go for it. So I sort of dropped down a little gear, went for it. Saw this drop, pulled up, didn't look up in the air, and there's a massive tree branch coming across the trail. My shoulder bars it and hit the floor like a sack of potatoes. It's a noise as well, isn't it? It's so good. You know, I didn't actually get too much of an injury from it, so it's worth the video. <laughs> what part? that DMR don't currently make, do you think it would be cool for DMR to make in the future? Hmm. I like Will's answer of a direct mount stem, that's pretty cool, but other than that, hmm. you got most stuff, haven't you, really? You've got most bases covered. A full size frame, yeah, well you did have one. Oh, I'd love that, that'd be sick, yeah. I mean, the sled was a cool, but I actually had a DMR bolt back in the day, actually, funnily enough. I bought off of Chopper. But yeah, that was a beast. So yeah, that would be cool to see a full size frame, definitely. What? is a mid-air cycling manoeuvre that you wish you could do or would like to learn. Front flips. I think front flips are sick, but they just don't make sense to me. Just can't work out how you can throw yourself over the bars like that when you hit a takeoff. Just doesn't seem right. When people do them at speed as well, over like long gaps, it just blows my mind. Andy being one of them, he's, he's pretty good at fronties, isn't he? If a bear and a shark had a fight, which would win? Shark all day. Yeah, well, there's less the sharks on land, then obviously that's going to be a beach shark, isn't it? I think that shark's going to be a bear, isn't it? What a stupid question. What is your perfect meal deal selection? And another stupid question. <laughs> um, my perfect meal deal selection obviously varies depending on what meal deal you're looking at. I'd say you can't go wrong with like a chicken Caesar wrap, an iced coffee with a snack of... I'm going to say I'm like, act like I'm really healthy and say like a bag of fruit, but that would never be me. Probably just a bag of crisps. Do you have any MTB related pet peeves or anything that leaves a nasty taste in your mouth about our sport of riding bikes in the woods? 
Hmm, don't know really. I don't have much hatred. What do I hate? I can't think of one. No, I don't think I do. I think I'm like lacking hatred. I like bikes. I like everything about bikes, really. Would you rather be riding your bike than answering these stupid questions? Yes, I would. I'm not a fan of this. I'd rather be riding my bike, not talking to a bloody camera. <laughs> and that's it, thank God.